and good morning people welcome back to persona last time I died horribly I do have a reason for that though my characters were severely underleveled for what I was facing I will show you because I was able to defeat some things ignore everything you see on that screen though for the moment I will come back to that uh, analyze Jahai's level 64. My characters are uh, or were level. Uh, the main character was 53. Malky was 54. Nanjo was 44. Mark was 40, and the main uh, and AAC was 46. I have been facing enemies 20 time uh, 20 levels above me mostly it's not just those though uh, level 65 uh, level seven, uh, 64 level 65 and found these Fenrir's level 77 uh, 75 And where's the one that killed me? Because I know I defeated them. Grimmies, level 68. Yeah, my levels were a bit too low for those. Anyways, enemies I did fight uh, and uh, find while I was down here. Ganeshas. I'm not sure if I've shown these, so I'm just going to go through them all. These ones aren't so bad. They're weak against electric, nuclear, gravity and blast. And their most dangerous thing is probably bind. Not too bad. Uh, Oberons we've defeated. Cherubs. Miracles. They repel 50% uh, elements and forces. And have... Megadolan, not too bad by itself, but they have quite high stats and generally come in the back, so it's difficult to deal with them. Paimons. These ones have mostly made up heavy death at damage each turn that is quite annoying sometimes because if it hits you're basically taking half your damage half your health at the end of each turn and they come in twos these ones aren't really so bad though if you can get them on the front row remember these are the ones I've been able to defeat Eight. Uh, Gidons. These are ones that were back n next to the uh, velvet room. But uh, we we didn't actually see them in the last part. Uh, uh, but I did find them on my way back. They have a bit of everything, really. But they aren't really that bad. Fenrir's, which are down here, level seventy-five. 825 exp uh, HP and 750 SP. These are actually quite easy. I believe they only come in singles. They don't have too many amazing attacks. They've just got a lot of HP to whittle through. Uh, the mag uh, the Mangad dies. We already defeated some of those, so they're not too bad. Uh, Econ shares. Grimies. Weak against elements and forces. Yeah. Um, their magic defense makes up for it. 214. 
and they have high agility so they are quick as well Maziodine hurts and they also have hell eyes which we both which we saw at the end it they are dangerous very very dangerous there are at least two other enemies that I know about that have killed me outright I will I will be honest this next little bit isn't going to be as blind as it should be I decided that after last time I was going to have a look through uh, and get into the final uh, if, it is, if it is indeed the final room of this area and see what the boss was like because if I was dying on my way there would I get uh, totally owned by the boss the answer yes I hardly had any chance at all so I decided to go on a grinding session my main character is now level 63 he has gained 10 levels Maki is 62 she has gained 8 levels N Nanjo is 61 he has gained the most he has gained 17 levels there is a reason for that Mark who's lagging behind at level 51 he is not important he's only there for one real major reason later and AAC level 57 who is there for another reason but she's a bit more important than uh, Mark Mark's not there to die he's there to soak up a bit of damage if you've noticed his HP pool he doesn't need too much more yeah, despite, despite being level 51 to Nanjo 61 he has the same amount of HP anyways equipment wise they are exactly the same there's no change however persona wise everyone has something different except for uh, AA, uh, not AA, uh, Marky the main character has Amon Ra. Amon Ra is his ultimate uh, persona. It has a lot of fire attacks. Agadal, Agadine, uh, as a cessation, and electric damage, Shurageki, and Shib uh, Shibabu for inflicting blind, uh, blind status. That one's not so uh, amazing also has hieroglyphin I have no idea what that does really I don't it just got them question marks I've used it and it doesn't really make any difference to it uh, it's like a uh, as or, or sensate uh, cessation really as far as I'm aware but that's what he's got and he's got an amazing strength at the moment uh, 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 he's got 93 strength that doesn't really seem like much but it is quite important for his attack power Marky still has Tenson Nyan Nyan uh, mostly because of those two skills Megadolan and Medivama however the full revive is quite nice as well Nanjo, the reason why I got him up so much to level 60 at least is so he can have Yamoka his ultimate persona it has a heal it has heavy expel damage but it mostly has this which I'm going to be abusing profusely throughout my little time here Makara Khan reflects 25% magic damage a lot of the things down here use magic profusely so that is going to be very very helpful to survive 
I have given Mark Genbu because of mostly it, he knows tell, uh, techniques and rush attacks so that will be important later but he also has Makakaja which raises magic for all allies and finally AAC has Otohime has a full heal for everyone very important for this uh, this section of the game I feel Nirvandi, which cures 6 status, which might be useful later. Water Wall, party absorbs 50% ice spells for 3 turns. Will also be important, likely. But mostly, it's Taru Kaja, raises attack for all allies. This is going to be helpful. Oh. That's better. <laughs> or not. Yep, yeah, that's better. Right, that, yeah, Tarukaja. Raises attack for allies. Mark. Where is it? Where is Mark? Mark's status. Despite being level 51, he has an attack power of 321 which hits like a truck and that is going to be important his strength is way over 99 that is just saying 99 it's actually way over that anyways i'm not sure where, how long this uh this part is going to last because i want to end at a specific point in this section down here so let's move forward First, put in Lift Dome Ron. Because, well, all these trap uh, uh, traps on the floor. G uh, Ganeshes, easy enemies. At least they should be at my uh, level of the game now. Uh, I want Shurugeki, actually. Megadolan. These don't do any special, uh, uh, do, don't do any, uh, thing attack, um, magic attack, so that's not a problem. Ah, uh, yeah, might as well. It's not like you're going to do any to get get to. It's not going to get to you anyway. So, enemies are still quicker than me. You should remember this. Nanjo is probably the quickest of my characters now, beating out even uh, Maki by quite a bit actually. Sapphire, not important. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more uh, fusing of my uh, personas. And that's why I'm over with. And the main character gets a level. Quite possibly his last one of the game. Oh, that doesn't really give me anything. That's tempting, actually. And so is that. That one, not so much. Let's go full out defense. Okay, and where do I want to go next? I believe it's down on here. I only went through this area once, so I don't know exactly where it is <laughs> still. So you might be thinking, but you've been through it once. Yeah, it's a maze. Yep, they died in two hits. Okay, right, I do believe I am going the correct way. 
And so far I have been lucky that I haven't found the enemy that I'm really dreading. Okay, apparently, uh, because I really thought I was going to, uh, I just did something really bad there. Um, where are they? Jahais. They absorb, oh, uh, yeah, they absorb 100% elements of force, but they are very weak against expel damage. So, if, how weak? Well, I one-shot them with uh, Nanjo's thing. I might actually show that one. And that's them over with. I think I need to go in now. And to the right. Okay, I've got traps still, so I'm might be going in the correct direction. Ah, cherubs. Haven't seen you, <laughs> at least on the camera, I don't think. Repels, 50% elements, forces, weakened spears, death and curse. Just hit them with your sword, I guess. Do these do any... Uh, they do do Megadolan. Um, yeah, let's show this and uh, that off and see uh, see if they decide to kill themselves on it. So that's all there. It, I can now take pretty much no damage from magic attacks. And sword attack, that's not really that bad. Azure Cessation. Reflects. Unfortunately, it only reflects 25% of the damage, so it's not especially amazing. But it does stop me from taking it, which is actually very important. Cherubs have a lot of HP, especially whereas I'm not really doing that much in the way of damage. And they have a reflection as well, so... Not sure why when they repel damage in any way. But, uh... Yeah. But, yeah, just... Fight these ace with your sword. Don't uh, don't do anything special in the way of attacks, and you will be fine. A bead. Oh yes. That speaking of uh, beads, I have made a bit of an upgrade in my items. I have 99 medicines, 99 rattle drinks, 99 beads, 99 revival beads, 99 bombs of life. Pretty much 99 of anything I could buy. I had the money, and it wasn't going to be much else use, so I just bought that many. The only one I didn't buy 99 of were the half moon tablets, which restore full HP to all allies. Hopefully I won't have to use them as much. But... Yeah, those are... Uh, these are all going to be quite important. When I went into the... Uh, boss... On my little thing to t uh, test it... I had hardly any items. Now I have over, uh, over the amount I really need, I believe. Doesn't matter either way. We need to go in and get to that, that point. Which we are actually quite close. And more cherubs. 
And there they are. That's them down. Marky, uh, no, not Marky. AAC is weak against magic, which is a bit of a problem. But hopefully, I'll be able to get around that. Yeah, we're here. This is the point where I'm going to leave this uh, episode off because inside there is the boss. And I do believe it is quite possible that this is the last boss of the game. I am not 100% sure. But I do know for a fact that inside there is Pandora. Since I, I have already seen her. So next time we will go in, we will fight Pandora. And we will see how I do. It is likely I will still die horribly because I don't think I am strong enough for it. Despite the increase in levels that I've had. I was lucky on the way here and didn't run into any of the big, big nasties. So... One thing I will do before I uh, do anything is I will use items like the chewing souls to get up to full uh, full health, full SP, and next time. We will go inside. So until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.